Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel. This is Raj from Radical Deckard, your process automation strategist. Today we are diving into one of the most underrated yet highly critical measuring instrument in the process industry and it is differential pressure gauge. We will break down in this video differential pressure gauge, types of differential pressure gauges and practical selection guide to help you to choose the right one. So let's get started. A differential pressure gauge measures the difference between two pressure points in the process. It doesn't just show one pressure reading, it shows the pressure difference which is crucial in many applications like monitoring filters and strainers, measuring liquid level in pressurized tanks, calculating flow across an orifice plate or restrictions, ensuring clean room pressure balance and detecting logging in HVAC ducts and filters. Now, let's cover some types of pressure gauges. First one is piston type differential pressure gauge. It uses a magnetic piston mechanism and it is ideal for clean liquids and low differential pressures. Second type is diagraph type differential pressure gauges. It uses neural diaphragm, suitable for gases and liquid applications and it is good for HVAC pharma and clean room uses. Third one is bellows type differential pressure gauge. It uses a metal bellows and sensing element. It is ideal for corrosive environments and high pressure systems. Fourth type is digital differential pressure gauge. It has electronic display with high resolution. It has optional output like 4 to 20 milliampere or mode bus. And it is ideal for integration with PLC and SCADA. Fifth one is capsule or Boredon based differential gauge. It is very rare and used in niche or custom design application. Now let's check a quick step by step guide to select differential pressure gauge. First one is know your application. Are you measuring flow, filter condition or tank level? Second is identify the medium. Is it liquid, gas or steam, corrosive or clean or viscous or dusty? Third one is choose the correct pressure range. Select a differential range that fits your process. Example, 0 to 1000 pascals for clean rooms or 0 to 3 bar for filter in oil system. Fourth one is material of construction like MOC. Use SS316 for corrosive processes. Use polycarbonate for HBC or clean room application. Fifth one is connection type or orientation like if you want bottom or back connection inline or panel mount or NPT, BSP or French type. Sixth one is output requirement and it is optional. Need an analog output? Choose a digital differential pressure gauge and want a remote monitoring and look for 4 to 20 milliampere or wireless IoT options. Seventh is accuracy and resolution. Standard accuracy is plus or minus 1.6 percentage and high end accuracy is plus or minus 0.5 percentage or better for lab and clean rooms. And eighth one is certification. Check if you need ATEX or IP ratings for your hazards or outload areas. Choosing the right differential pressure gate is more than just picking a model. It's all about matching your application and moment and process need. So if you like this video, don't forget to like, share and subscribe our YouTube channel. Thank you so much for watching. See you all in my next video.